now to a rising star who is bringing representation to the screen in style. Stephanie Hsu is a breakout star of the smash hit Everything Everywhere All at Once, a film centered around a Chinese-American family, their dynamics, and a multiverse of possibilities. ABC's Stephanie Ramos sat down with the actress to talk life, work, and the importance of young people seeing themselves in film. I can see where this story is going. It does not look good. I've seen thousands of Evelyns. You can access all of their memories, their emotions. Really good. It is so hard to believe that Everything Everywhere All at Once is your first feature film. <laughs> Incredible. Why do you think the film has been so successful? I think that the reason why our movie is translating, honestly, yes, it's weird, it's wild, it's funny, it's excellent filmmaking. People are feeling excited by the art, but also because they're in the mood to heal and be held. I think that's why people are coming out like sobbing and it's more than just the story. Concerning the fate of every single world of our infinite multi- Your character, Joy, wants her mother to understand her pain and to accept that she is queer. What do you hope people take away from this complex mother-daughter relationship. My favorite thing that's been happening is that people will tell me that after they watch the movie, they desperately like want to call their moms immediately mm. or call their partners immediately. But the newest version of that mm. is that people have been sending their parents to watch the movie and their parents have then called them after to apologize. People are coming out of the film wanting to do the work to heal their relationships and, and their families. I just want to just share with you. What do you think it means for a generation to see their family dynamic represented on the big screen? Yeah. Representation is so important. When people see themselves, they know that they are worthy of existing, worthy of living a beautiful life, worthy of pursuing their dreams. But also, you know, our movie is centered around a very imperfect family. And I think it's important that people of color or marginalized people also have a space to be imperfect and to see that reflected. Speaking of pursuing your dreams, what motivated you to keep going and keep pushing for this? Yeah, I'm a freak. I don't know, <laughs> I'm crazy, I'm a crazy person, I don't know. But I like to say that I have had guardian angels along the way who opened up doors that I never even knew existed for me. I never even saw this version of my life that I'm currently living because I just didn't think it was available to me. Mm -hmm. And so the thing that has been my guiding light is always to just work with people that I love and admire and feel excited about making art that I care about. There's yeah. a lot of Asian American representation in in this film, how important do you think that is, especially in today's time, uh, yeah. to have that, to be able to show younger people that, yeah, you can do this? You know, it's funny, when I um, was first offered to audition for The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel for the character of May. I think it's time for you to meet my parents. Nope. You can't just run. I know where you live. No, you don't. No, I don't. I thought to myself, there will never be a Chinese person in the 1950s in a period piece on television. Like, I was scared to read the script because I was scared it was gonna be offensive because I had seen so many versions of that before. And luckily, it's this really special character. And I say that because I feel grateful that I am a very small part of making more space for people who come after me. And I could only be here because of all the people who came before me and now, now that that character exists, there's no one ever has to ask that question again or doubt themselves again. What does your family think about all of this, all of the success, the film, the shows, the being on Broadway? What do they say? <laughs> um, well, my mom, I think it was after the third season of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel that something really clicked for her. She was on a trip and she was on a tour bus and there was um, two people sitting in front of her that she had no connection with. And one of them said, 
oh, and there's this there's this new character this season. She's this Chinese woman, and she's so she's so sassy and funny. And my mom was like, I think that's my daughter. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I think that wow. was a moment for her where she realized that what I do has impact beyond just the screen, right? And you've had so many different experiences from being on Broadway in the musical Be More Chill and playing May on mm -hmm. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, to now Joy. What attracted you to these characters that really challenged the norm? Yeah, I love seeing characters or playing characters that we've never seen before. It's exciting to me. Mm -hmm. And I've been lucky that, and certainly with uh, you know everything everywhere, the character of Joy and, and Jobu, this nihilistic villain, we've definitely never seen anything like that. Don't make me fight you. I am really good. I don't believe you. I hope to continue to surprise myself and other people. That's the space of art, right? Is mm -hmm. to show people things we've never seen. Art at its best really does have that um, capability. And I think we really all need some coming together and some healing right now. Mm -hmm. Definitely doing, you're definitely doing that. I, I wanna bring attention to a guest column yes. uh, for The Hollywood Reporter you wrote, reflecting on your own racist encounter. You write, it's a confusing time to be Asian. Each success arrives alongside a heartbreak and oftentimes even anger. This was written just a year ago. Yeah. What would you say to Asian Americans in this country experiencing heartbreak and anger right now? Carrie Fisher, take your broken heart, make it into art or addendum, action. Find your community and be with people who you can mourn with and let it uplift you. And I think the anger is so valid and on the other side of anger is to find the joy and to find moments where we can really celebrate our existence and all the ancestry in our, in our bones. For those who haven't seen the film yet, yes. what would you tell them? I would say, um, hello, <laughs> go see it. It is, I promise, I promise, I promise, it is unlike anything anyone has ever seen. It feels like such an important cultural moment that we're having, and you wanna see it with strangers. You wanna see it with a community. You wanna come together and feel catharsis, laugh, cry, with people you don't know, but who are doing their best on this planet, just like you. Let's go see it, go see it, go see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stephanie Ramos, thank you so much. And boy, we have a lot to learn from that young woman. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.